Good day to everyone watching. The Kargil war fought in May and June of 1999 was the turning point in Indo-Pak relations. We, the NCC cadets of NCS Kochi, would like to share some information about this crucial war. On 15th August 1947, Hindustan was partitioned into India and Pakistan and both countries had won their freedom from the British Empire after nearly 200 years of incessant struggle. To gain some context about the war, let us go back a few more years when Sri Vallabhai Patel and Mr. V. P. Menon found the length and breadth of India, securing the alliance of various princely states to separate India and Pakistan. For historical reasons, the Muslim population of Hindustan was concentrated in northwestern Indus River region which is all now a part of Pakistan. The only root point in this entire scenario was the Kingdom of Kashmir. Maharaja Hari Singh of Kashmir declared that he had no inclination of joining either India or Pakistan. But after persistent talks, he agreed to unify Kashmir with India. Pakistan did not take lightly to this and alleged that Kashmir was forced to join India under diplomatic pressure. The boy was brought down to Asema until the Indo-Pakistan War of 1971. Pakistani forces had occupied various strategic posts along with LOC and had infiltrated Kashmir with the hopes of capturing it by itself. India, however, was quick to thwart the assault, pushing the Pakistani army behind the Sichuan glacier, which continues to be the standoff point. Of course, the war was not without sacrifice. In India discovered many fine warriors in the likes of Sam Maneksha, Aran Kao, Nirmal Jit Singh, and Ian Cardozo. Another major outcome of this battle was the liberation of East Pakistan, which became Bangladesh. Pakistan quietened down after the loss in 1971. After this, however, tensions started sizing within Kashmir itself. Separatist activities that were, in, that were on the rise, as well as the nuclear tests that were being conducted in 1998 escalated the situation. During the 1998-1999 winter, Pakistani troops were being trained and sent into Kashmir under the guise of Mujahideens, codenamed Operation Badr. The aim was to sever the link between Leh and Kargil, to cut off the only access point India had to Kargil. The first intrusions were reported by local shepherds. The attack was full. Five Indian soldiers were taken POW and tortured to death. Another Air Force officer was taken POW after his MiG-21 was shot down. On 1st June 1999, Pakistani forces bombarded the NH-1, completing the aim of Operation Badr. By this time, India had acquired sufficient intel and launched the Operation Trident, a three-pronged attack to derive out the invaders. Bill Clinton, the then President of the United States of America, pitched in two, convincing President Parvez Musharraf of Pakistan to pull his troops out of India. Seeing that no one supported his cause, Parvez Musharraf agreed to retreat, but no actions were taken. Soon after, Indian forces captured Tiger Hill, where the legendary Vikram Batra was sadly martyred. To force his troops to retreat, Musharraf cut off the food supply to Pakistani troops. After the victory at Tiger Hill and with the help of the Indian Air Force, India evicted all Pakistani infiltrators, including the Muhajideen, making Operation Trident a success. Thus was born a lasting control of India over Kashmir.